Hi guys, this is Tash. Today is Monday, Mania the 8th. And today's whip is 17th Century Stump Work by Room for Threads. The website is up there. Um, Annie Huntley. This is a correspondence course, so I it came in 10 parts and I got a new part every month. And so for the first part was the centre motif. I'll show you what I've done. I've done the first two parts. So the first part was the centre motif. Um, the second part was the embroidery on the centre motif. And then for the third part, I'm supposed to attach this little piece of embroidery to this silk backing. This is silk. But before I do that, I'm supposed to attach this silk to this calico, but I don't have a sewing machine, so I kind of can't do that at the moment. Um, so, uh, and then when I do, after I've done that, I get to move on to all the other parts, which are all of these little stump work motifs. Um, and they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, a little, a little difficult, challenging. I haven't done this kind of stump work very much. Just a very tiny bit. Um, but yeah, they're going to be really pretty. Um, however, I, I'm kind of stuck. I can't work on this today. I don't have a sewing machine. I definitely don't want to hand stitch this all the way around because I'm lazy. Um, I also don't have the number 10 cruel needle I need to do bullions. I'm supposed to, uh, supposed to cut this out with six millimeters around. And then I'm supposed to attach it with bullions all the way around. And I don't have any cruel needles at all. You can't use a regular tapestry needle for bullions because, if you can see, this is not showing up very well. The end of the needle is actually bulbous. It's thicker than the middle of the needle. So when you wrap your, when you do a bullion, so these are bullions here. And they're terrible bullions. Ugh. That one there's not too bad. Where is it? Uh, do, do, do. This bullion, the second one here, that's not too bad. It's a bit uneven, but at least um, the top isn't looser than the bottom. So when you wrap the thread around the needle so many times, when you pull the needle through, if the eye is thicker than the shaft of the thread, it's very hard to get it through. So that's why I need cruel needles, and I do not have any. So I can't work on this today. Uh, I am actually have decided that this is going to become... Not a UFO forever, but a UFO for now. Um, I'm going to put it away um, in a UFO pile. I'm going to take it off my list of active whips so it won't be counted as one of my whips. And I will probably pull this out in a few years time. Um, I'll definitely be keeping all the materials and stuff. By the way, these are Averisois silks. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty. Um, and you know, there's a bit of gold, pearl, and couching thread to do around here. Then as you do each part, you know, you get beads. Some of them have beads. I think the peacock has beads. The flower has beads in the center. Um, yeah, so I have all the parts. I think I'm just going to put this away. Pick it up in a few years. Um, I'll be going to Beating Around the Bush in 2018, I believe. And I'll probably start... Sorry, I'll probably take a stump work class. Something a lot smaller so I can get some practice and learn how to do this so I know what I'm doing. Um, and I'll also have to take this to my mum to get this sewn on <laughs> because, yeah, I do not fancy hand sewing this on. Okay, um, so since I can't work on this today and it's going in the UFO pile, that means I'm going to have a new start today and I'm pulling up Undulations by Jardin Privé. Um, Nathalie Quichon? I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is so cute, right? I love it. Um, I'm going to pull out some 40 count white linen and the recommended colours and just go for it. I'm looking forward to it. And um, so if you didn't know, because I realise I haven't mentioned it, I usually do these mania videos at the beginning of the day before I've done any work. If you want to see the progress I made in the day, so if you want to see what I've done after I started this, it will be on my Instagram. My Instagram is Tashage, T-A-S-H-A-G-E, and I'll link it below in the Jubilee Doo. Um, I'll also put a link to where you can get this passion from. I think Jardin Privé, um, you can actually do digital downloads on their site, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so this is what I'll be stitching on today. Hope you have a great day. I'll be putting up a few more videos today um, because I need to catch up on the mania days that I missed while I was away at the retreat. And I'm also going to do a nice video about the retreat and show you 
some haul I got and some of the exciting stuff we did and so on. So look out for that. Okay, see you later guys. Bye!